Noify's Purchases module can help you automate and track your material expenses on your projects. Starting in the Manage Active Purchases screen, you'll be able to see all of your outstanding purchases that need to be reconciled with bills and any other purchases that were submitted from the rest of the employees in your company, including ones that need to be approved or rejected by you. To add a new purchase, click the Add New Purchase button in the top left corner of this screen. You'll first be prompted for which purchase type you'll be submitting. Purchase orders will be for when the vendor is going to send you an invoice later on, expenses will be when you've already paid with cash or a debit card, and reimbursements will be when you spend your own money and need to get paid back by the company. Next you choose the vendor. The vendor database will already be in the system or you can add a new one here. And you can start by filling out which items you're going to be purchasing. This will let you search your database to automatically pull in item numbers and estimated costs, but you can always adjust the cost here if necessary, and then choose which job you want this purchase to be associated with. Then to add multiple lines, click where it says add another item and fill out the form again. You'll notice that this automatically allocates to the job that you had chosen earlier, so you don't need to reselect it every time. And if you don't need to use an item from your database, you can enter anything else you need here as well. Simply make sure the quantity and the price is correct and it will be costed to the job accordingly. And if you need to update which job a purchase is allocated to, you can do it on the right hand side of the screen. So you can either choose a different job or just a different phase of the same job that was selected earlier. The last option will be for setting some other fields in this purchase, such as what date you created the purchase. You can also set a custom PO number. If this isn't checked, it will select one for you. But if you'd like to enter a custom one, you also have the ability to verify that it hasn't been used before. You'll get this warning if it has been used. We always recommend you try something different. And then when you have a fresh one, it'll let you know that this is okay. The upload supporting documents will be somewhere where you can upload receipts if necessary. And you can enter notes about this purchase, either for internal reference or to send to the vendor. Once we hit verify and submit, this will automatically cost the purchase to the job and generate a purchase order document, which we can email right to our vendor. It will put in the HQ shipping address that you have set up as your company default. You can also update it to ship to the job address if you have a job address set. And you can choose whether or not you want to include pricing on this in case you're getting a quote from the vendor. And now that this purchase is submitted, it's our most recent line in Manage Active Purchases. I can also use the clipboard on the right hand side of the screen to mark each item as it's received at the job site. Once we've marked every item as received, the clipboard will be closed out. Next, we'll work with expenses or cash purchases. Just like earlier, I'll click Add New Purchase at the top of the screen. For purchase type, I'm going to choose Expense. Just like before, we'll fill out the same form. I choose the vendor name, and when the vendor is selected, it'll pull up the same form that we saw earlier. We'll just fill out this information really quickly. And it might be more relevant to upload a receipt with one of these purchases. Once I submit this, again, it'll apply the cost to the job. You'll see that this purchase is automatically closed because we won't be receiving a bill for it later on since it's already been paid for. That means that it won't be shown in our Manage Active Purchases screen because it's no longer active. Last, we'll go through reimbursements. Since the company will be paying the actual user for this purchase, no vendor needs to be selected, just a description of what's being purchased and what job it's for. Once this is submitted, it'll automatically open up a bill with that employee as the vendor so it can be paid and closed out accordingly. Then, to view any purchases that have been submitted and closed out, you can click where it says View History at the top of the screen and see all of your purchases regardless of whether or not they're still active. This is also going to be a way you can filter out your purchases by date. This will be handy for seeing all the purchases submitted in a certain date range. Now I can see all the purchases that we've submitted so far and if I need more information on any of them I can click the arrow on the left hand side of the screen. If you have more questions on any of this please don't hesitate to reach out to support at noify.com and our team will be happy to help you.